Hi, I'm Scott. Today we're going to use this 40 volt power snow shovel attachment on Dad It Yourself. All right, so day after Christmas, look what we got. We had a white Christmas yesterday. Not a lot, maybe three or four inches, and that's pretty typical for us here. Um, and what does that mean? Well, probably I don't need a snow blower. Uh, when I lived in Maine, I had a big one. I had a big Husqvarna, you know, multiple three, I think three horsepower unit that uh, took care of everything. You know, the big plow hills from when the plow came by and the one, two, three, or four feet of snow we would get on a regular basis. But we'd be on the Washington, we really don't get that. So three or four inches today. Uh, we're going to have four days with mostly sun and clouds, no snow. And then we're going to have six more days of snow right after the new year. Um, and what does that mean? Well, I need to get this off the sidewalks because it's going to turn to ice. Um, Michelle's going to have to go to work tomorrow, so I need to get her car cleaned. And we'll jump on that using my favorite tools from Ryobi. No one wants to be this guy. So what do I have here? Well, I have my 40 volt power head, a 40 volt Jetpack 3 or whatever it is, Jetpack blower, and then my power snow shovel. I picked this up in February when it was snowing and we ended up only getting like one day of snow and it melted the next day. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this blower and I'm gonna clear off both the vehicles and blow everything down onto the ground and then use that to clean. I have some issues in the backyard I need to deal with and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so a couple of lessons learned on this one. Uh, first off, put a little pressure on here, keep that scraper right on the ground, and then mine wants to shoot to the left more than straight ahead. Well, you can kind of deal with that two ways. You can start from the right and work your way leftward, or you can actually just angle this a little bit to direct your snow, which kind of seems to be the way. But I'm starting from the right, working to the left, and then using the left and right to kind of keep the snow going in the direction I want to go in.
right, so what did I get done? Got my driveway pretty much cleared out. I got the sidewalk around the front of my house. This is about a hundred, maybe a hundred and twenty feet from my driveway all the way out to the property line where my neighbor's house is. So, pretty good. So what did I think about the power shovel? Well, I really liked it. I had a lot of fun using it. It uh, is a 40 volt tool, so it's got a little bit of weight to it, but not too heavy. Definitely a lot easier than pushing a regular snow shovel. Uh, and like I said earlier, I don't need a full size snow blower. That can be three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars maybe for a unit. Uh, this one was not nearly that expensive. I did this 100 feet of sidewalk in my entire two and a half car driveway on one six amp battery and I still had a little charge left over. If you're looking for a new addition to your Ryobi 40 volt expanded system, this would be a great one for you. I'll have some links in the descriptions of all the tools I use today, including the Ryobi 40 volt snow blower. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.